Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So on this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the freeze frame effect. So if you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically at a certain point in your video, you want to freeze the frame and then have it go back into motion afterwards. Now, currently within Shotcut, there isn't a filter or effect that allows you to do this. But what they do allow you to do is actually take a snapshot or export a frame in your video and then import that back into your playlist. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The first thing you want to do is make sure your playhead is at the exact spot where you want to freeze your frame. And then you go up here to file and then export frame. Then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name this frame one. And once you do that, you could go down here and add the source to the playlist, or you could add files to the playlist. And then you could also just simply drag the image over into your project. So I'll go ahead and add source. So there is our image. And if you want to add files, you could go here. And then if you actually had the folder open already, you could drag the image over to your playlist. And that's all you have to do. Now, this part's really important because you want to make sure that your frame is in the exact spot of your playhead Otherwise, it's going to be off and it's not going to be the exact frame that you had previously exported. So the easiest way to do that is wherever your playhead is at, you want to make sure your clip is selected and then you simply press the key S. Or if you right click on your mouse on the clip, there is split at playhead, which is the letter S. So I think S is a lot easier because that way you don't accidentally move your playhead just like I did to the wrong spot. OK, so we'll go ahead and press S and then it splits at playhead. And now you could simply drag your image down here. All right. So now we watch this. And then it freezes. And then once that frame is over, it will start back up. And the great thing is, since it is an image, you could actually shorten or lengthen it. So if I wanted to shorten that free frame, I can drag it over. Let's watch this again. And I think I actually added a transition as well. So that's another cool effect, uh, which was unintentional. Or you can do some other things as well to this particular image. You can add other filters, you know, whatever filters that you want. So say, for example, you actually wanted to do a uh, quick zoom. Uh, you could do that as well. You could go size, position, rotate. And in this case, if you want to just use the presets, you can. You know, there's already some right here. So you could go ahead and slow zoom in. You could try that. Or you could even use keyframes if you want more control. So we'll go ahead and do that. So I'll play this and then there's a slow zoom in and then the transition. Boom. And you know, there's many other effects that you can use as well. There's also a shake one second scaled. So let's see how that looks like. So we'll just watch that. There's the freeze frame. <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun with that. And there's many other filters that you can use as well. You know, obviously you could do many other things like adding text, adding other images, adding other videos. You could even add this on another track as well. But the overall way in which you could do this, it's fairly simple, I would say, as long as you're very careful and where your playhead is at. But hopefully in future updates of Shotcut, they will add a freeze frame filter or effect by default. So then we don't have to go through the step of taking a screenshot, importing it and making sure it's in the right spot. So that's it for this particular video. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shortcut tutorials and tips, I do have an entire playlist. I'll leave that in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below.